Hello, my name is Stephen Mears from Stephen Mears Funeral Directors. I come from a long line of funeral directors and I hope that this video will help you with your funeral arrangements. How to plan a funeral. The way you would plan a funeral would probably depend firstly on where the person has died. If they've died in a hospital, you'll be contacted by the authorities at the hospital who will then give you all the relevant documentation. If the person has died at home, your first call should be your GP. Once the GP has attended, you would then contact your funeral director that you want to make the arrangements and they will attend the house or the home and effect a removal to their mortuary. After that, the next step would be you had to register the death. To do this, you would need a cause of death certificate. This you would get either from the hospital or from your GP. You would take this to the registrar and make the declaration and then give you the documentation to take to the funeral director. Next thing you need to decide is whether you want to make a cremation or a burial. And this will obviously depend on your own or the deceased wishes. If you tell this to the funeral director, they will advise you on the local crematoria or cremation. You might then want to decide whether you want to have a church service or a service at the crematoria or at the, at the cemetery. These will be wishes that you will need to discuss with your family. Other considerations would be whether you want to have limousines to take, to take the mourners, whether you'd like to have a minister or a humanist, i.e. somebody who does not have a faith to take the service. All these you should discuss with your family and the funeral director. Other considerations that you might wish to consider are whether you'd like to have a car coffin or a casket. A traditional coffin uh, would be mostly uh, what you would use. Um, if you would want to use a casket, you would probably know that before you see the funeral directors. For a church service, you might want to have a, um, an organist to sing hymns um, or CDs of relevant music. Normally you'd want at least three pieces of music, uh, one for going in, one for during the service, and then another piece on the way out of the cemetery or the crematorium. Once you have spoken to your minister, you probably want to um, have a order of service. Um, you, there are many companies that would do this professionally, or nowadays a lot of people would do it on their own PC with the use of um, just programs that they've normally got. This would run through the uh, order of service, any hymns, and usually you'd have a photograph of the person who's died and maybe a few other photographs within it. Um, a lot of people like to take these home as well after the service as a memento of the, um, uh, of, of the service and that's how to plan a funeral.